her page welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you're new definitely don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button if you're an og welcome back i heard fam let's go ahead and get this started y'all okay so today i am trying out this foot peel mask y'all it is by planifique and you can end up getting this on amazon as usual i'm gonna put all the information down in the description box so if y'all want to purchase this after watching this video okay so basically the instructions say for you to soak your feet 10 to 20 minutes make sure that your feet are well and dried off which i'm doing right now in this clip and then you start the applying process so you have to cut the little booties open first and then all the stuff is in here i was really amazed by how the stuff doesn't come out um it has these little tape strips and i was actually curious because i was like oh my gosh this is probably gonna be a mess and just make a mess and y'all when i say it does not come out it does not come out when you put those tape strips on there and i ended up using um four on each of my booties in the two in the front two in the back and when i tell y'all this stuff does not come out it does not come out they also say that you want to put on socks so i ended up putting on just these little footies that i end up using sometime during the fall and the winter to make sure that my foot got well and heated up and warm and then they say for you to just soak it off after you wait for 60 minutes to 90 minutes so an hour to an hour and a half and then you want to just take and wash it off using a mild soap so this is what i did y'all i did everything the instructions told me to do and then I made sure my foot was dry I just patted it dry I did not rub I'm just patting it and then you want to wait 7 to 14 days here is day 2 um, I didn't record day 1 because honestly day 1 had nothing going on literally nothing my foot felt like it had a coat of something on it but that is it and then this is day 2 and I'm showing y'all because the process is starting y'all here it is so most of my peeling was on the bottom of my foot and behind my toes and I kind of showed y'all that. Now this is the night of day two before I was going to bed and you can kind of see it was peeling a little bit more. At first I started out just barefoot and wearing my sandals and flip flops y'all around the house and as y'all keep watching y'all are going to see how that turned out for me. Um, So I'm just showing y'all before I went to sleep still day two. And now I'm showing y'all the other foot because I want to make sure that I was showing y'all this one wasn't doing as much as my right foot. So now it's day three and as y'all can tell the peeling is getting more and more. Now it's actually my left foot as well but y'all his right foot is really peeling. Oh my goodness. Okay so as well I ended up soaking my feet 10 minutes a day. If I didn't do every day I would just of course take a shower and I normally take two showers a day anyway so yeah. Okay so it has been a few days y'all and this is how my feet are looking now. Uh, so you can definitely tell it's definitely shedding and it's so hard to not want to pull it off i see what people are saying like it's so hard to not want to peel it and everything but yeah y'all i've just been doing what i can to not peel it off but one thing i have been doing i'm starting to do now i'm just taking off like the pieces that are hanging at least and then it's just going to let it keep doing what it's doing. I might put on some socks as well. Because, y'all, this, this is looking bad. This <laughs> yeah, it's over with wearing sandals. It's over with, y'all. This is how my feet are looking now. Um, I ended up just doing my 10-minute um, soaking my feet. And this is how it's looking. As you can tell, it is almost gone on the bottom of my foot. I've been waiting for my heel to actually peel because that's kind of where I have, well, actually I see a little bit starting to peel, y'all. But that is where I have most of my roughness. I would say it's with my heel. Sometimes this area right here on this foot and usually like in the center of my foot right there, which seems like the spots that are the roughest are the spots that stay on the longest is what i'm starting to get by this mask and where your foot is originally softer my foot is usually soft right here it feels like it peels faster in the soft spots the top of my foot still hasn't peeled um got some peeling between the toes 
So now it is day five and I'm about to take a shower. And when I took my socks off, y'all, all of this skin that y'all see right now, it came off literally inside the socks. I just kind of dumped it out on my pants, my leggings, so y'all can kind of see how much came off. And now I'm just going ahead and taking off the pieces that were finna fall off anyways. But I don't peel it, y'all. I'm just taking off the pieces that are hanging okay y'all so hopefully y'all can hear me if y'all hear a whole bunch of background noise it's definitely my fan but this is how my feet are looking and by now i'm sure i put on the screen what day it is but y'all my heel is finally peeling this is definitely what i've been waiting for and y'all when i tell you my foot is so freaking soft i think it has really been worth not wearing any sandals for I'm assuming it's gonna take about a week, y'all, because the top of my foot still has not peeled. As you can tell, it's starting. It's coming to the top of my feet now. Um, my toes are still peeling. I have not peeled off any, y'all. It has been so tempting, but I just didn't wanna mess up the process. But what I have been doing, like when it comes off, if it doesn't come off in my socks, like this hanging piece, I just go ahead and I take a shower and why it's soft, I go ahead and pull it off like that. So literally, I'm going to go ahead and take that off before I put on my socks. And so that's kind of what I've been doing, just pulling off what's already going to come off, but not really trying to disturb the process and mess things up. Because y'all, I've come a long way, so I don't want to mess up anything. And this is actually a piece when it's dry. So this is a huge piece that came from my heel, y'all, when I took my socks off. And as you can tell, it is so thick, so thick. So like I told y'all, that is definitely the toughest part, I would say, of my foot. Because like I said, y'all, I don't really have terrible feet, but I can definitely say like my heel for me just walking all day, standing most of the day, working out and stuff, my heel is usually, yeah. So there it is. I know y'all, hopefully if you clicked on this video, you were ready to see nasty foot peeling process <laughs> i mean i love stuff like this y'all so i'm definitely the type of person that watches all that type of pimple popping and all of that type of stuff so now it is day six i'm about to work out it's in the morning i just want to show y'all that the top of my foot looks so scaly and so crusty and so yeah just ashy and everything y'all so this is after I worked out, which is weird, but a lot of the ashiness and stuff went away. But of course, your feet sweat and everything, the heat and stuff, I think helped with even peeling off more, y'all. So yeah, now it's looking, my heels are looking really pink in this clip, but it doesn't hurt. They're not sore. They're not irritated or anything. I guess it's just because I worked out, got that blood flowing, y'all, probably is what it is. But I'm about to take a shower and this is a clip after. I took a shower so yeah um a lot came off even from me working out and taking a shower my heel is pretty much peeled I think it still has some yeah right here y'all still got some more peeling to do but it is definitely getting there it's even starting to peel on the top of my foot now so that is definitely good most of the top of my foot really just flaked off y'all oh my gosh Y'all, my feet look so amazing. Don't even get me with how soft they feel. Oh, wow. Let me show y'all the other one. Oh, my feet are so soft. It's crazy. My feet really feel like baby feet. Wow, they feel so amazing just rubbing on each other. Y'all, y'all have definitely got to try out this product. I will put all the stuff, all the information down in the description box as usual, y'all. I am so amazed at my results. Like, y'all, I am too shook. This is crazy. 
it was worth not wearing sandals because now I'm about to really be rocking my sandals with my feet feeling all good and soft, y'all.